Local music fans rejoice, it's your time of the year. Esplanade Theatres on the Bay is once again presenting Bay Beats. Already in its 8th outing, Bay Beats 09 will see some of the best talent from Singapore, Southeast Asia, Australia and the UK rock your pants off this weekend, the August 28th to 30th. Joining established Singaporean acts like the Great Spy Experiment, Opposition Party and the Maryland's are upcoming local acts like Mesaverse, West Grand Boulevard, Suicide Solution and For This Cycle. And making their return to the free open air festival are Australia's Callaway, Malaysian rockers Love Me Butch, and Singapore's John Chan. Razor TV went down a day before the festival to bring you exclusive interviews with three bands from this year's lineup. In the first two parts, we check out the seven member metal band Mesaverse. Better known for their intense and on-stage theatrics, these serious rockers talk to us with big smiles on their faces. What's up guys, I'm here at Baby, it's a sound check, a day just before Baby starts, it's a Thursday, I'm here with the heaviest band on the, on the lineup, and that's Mesaverse, welcome to the show guys. Hey, what's up man? Yep, okay, first things first, let's introduce the band from left to right. My name's Samuel, I play the guitars. Johnny, guitars as well. Cedric, vocals. Tremor, drums. Jasmine vocals. Being on keyboards. I'm John on bass. Okay, who decides who gets to play lead and, and who gets to play like rhythm since there's two guitars here? We try to share it out evenly. Yeah. Yeah, there are more or less enough solos to go around, so. Yeah, more, more or less, yeah. Yeah, okay. no, so it's not really a big deal. I know, I know Cedric, the vocalist, is also a guitarist. Is he a Nazi when it comes to like uh, playing guitar? He tries like to be, but we know he's not very good, so. <laughs> so that's why he's like really self admitted. So that's why he's on vocals, is it? Exactly. Okay, I just want to know a quick history of the band. I know you guys have been playing for quite some time, have no, like a that, couple of albums out, right? One or two? Yeah, we have uh, one album out, uh, Vida Sacrificial Meme S. Uh, it was released in 2006, late 2006. And uh, actually, okay, so Sam and I formed the band. And uh, on that guitar thing, actually, like, the two of us started on guitar. And uh, I sucked. So, like, you know, the, he threw me the vocals and. Okay, I know you guys hate to be asked what the band name stands for and how it came about. I'm not gonna ask you how it came about, but how do you, like, uh, what was the other options that y'all went through? I, I, I think uh, there was one. Kal Kalshidra or something Kalshidra. like that. Kalshidra? Kalshidra. It meant, I don't even it remember meant, what it meant, uh, but... Sort of we, we, thought, we thought it sounded too much like Rudra. So. Really Bingster. Bingster, yes, of course. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if I should say this. Say it, you can say it. But <laughs> Nexus Melodious was the name of uh, Samuel's first band, which was the seed of Mesoverse, pretty much. Basically, when bands come out, they hate being labelled and stuff like that. Um, I know you guys... Are being called black metal, sometimes gothic metal, or sometimes just straight up heavy metal. Uh, what what do you define yourself as? Uh, I don't know, just metal, I guess. Because if if we have elements of everything, mm -hmm. so I we're not even a hybrid. I think because we we just really steal from everything. So, and I think that just uh, just shows our flexibilities and our influences all we don't compromise on our influences Fair enough. Yeah. you know I love this band it's like the nation connects now we got almost every race here <laughs> you know and then now she's such a politically correct answer <laughs> yeah exactly um, so, oh no no let's start with Samuel and you have to you got okay six people here in one word you have to describe each member let's let's start from left to right Johnny first one one word only bro Lizzie Lizzie <laughs> annoying Cedric annoying Nervous. Twinkle toe. That, that's two words. That's two words, but never mind. Dash lah. Twinkle dash toe. Twinkle right? dash toe. Silent. Annoying. Okay. Annoying as well. Yeah. You can't have two annoying. Yeah, kind of too annoying. So you split them up. So Cedric's annoying. I want to refrain from scoring bad word, but uh, <laughs> Cedric is Hitler lah. Cedric's Hitler. Yeah. You you can have you can have a, a, a say one other person to help you out with, with the next answer, okay? Who is the hardest worker in the band? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hardest worker in the band, come on, quick, quick, quick. Who's the hardest worker? Yeah. 
Uh, I guess it has to be Cedric just by the amount of hair he's losing <laughs> for Snapchat. Oh, say that. Cedric is losing his hair? No, 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 no. Dude, what are you gonna do? Heavy oh, metal, heavy metal, metal and you lose your hair, you gotta shave your head, no? And people oh, yeah. think you're NS Ben, no? No. What to do with eating Maggie Mae, or some stuff? So it's just that every every things everything we have to do, it always gets back to him. He has to do like most, if not everything. So I guess he is the most hardworking. Yeah, okay, which brings <laughs> me to my next question. Like maybe okay, maybe Johnny, you answer this. What? Who is the most annoying in the band? Most annoying. Samuel already said Cedric, but you know. Well, okay, it's gotta be a toss up between Jazz or Egg, but I'm gonna give it a Jazz because she loves to constantly annoy me by calling me knee in this really high pitched voice. In this really high pitched voice. Let him hear it. Why me? I don't know. It's, it's a character oh, yeah, from a comic yeah, called Johnny Homicidal, Homicidal Maniac. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so she's she the most annoying to you, lah. Yes.